In this video today, we're going to talk about SI joint fusion, what that means and why it's important to you. If you have pain in the back that causes you a whole host of different issues from low back pain to pain from lying on one side for too long, pain when you're moving from sitting to standing, pain after you've had a surgical fusion or pain when walking up and down stairs, this might be a treatment option for you. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum, a regenerative medicine and interventional pain specialist who helps patients understand their options for pain relief. Today, we're gonna to talk about SI joint fusion. What is an SI joint fusion? And why would you want to have one? So an SI joint fusion is a fusion of the SI bone, specifically the ilium and sacrum. It provides increased stability when faced with pain resulting from increased movement of the SI joint. A fusion can be done from typically three different orientations, lateral, posterior, and posterior lateral. There are advantages to each approach. The lateral provides increased connection of joint. However, it is also more invasive due to the nature of the tissues of the lateral hip. Posterior was the original way fusions were initially tried by surgeons who originally modified lumbar spine instrumentation for SI pathology. It's evolved to be less invasive than typical, and currently it uses distraction techniques as opposed to fusion using screws. The pro is that it's less damage to most tissues and it uses natural ligaments. However, the con is it may not last as long for long-term pain control, and it may not provide the same degree of stability. There's also a posterior lateral approach, which, which is a modification of the two previous techniques. And it is not as invasive as the lateral approach, but it does provide more sustainable fusion than what's compared to a traditional posterior approach currently. So when we talk about SI joint fusion, let's get some clarity about the anatomy. So when we look at the anatomy and we take a look, one of the things that we can be able to see is the areas of the sacrum and the ilium. So if we can be able to see this, the middle bone right here is the sacrum. And then the bone off to the side over here is the ilium. The area in between this joint is the joint that is the SI joint. That joint can have normally mobility of two to 4%. And when that joint has increased mobility, it can frequently result in pain and pain that was, was described earlier that can be localized to that specific region in the gluteal region. It can give radiation to the front near the groin and inguinal region, also to the hip and the lateral aspect of the hip. And occasionally it can give radiation down the leg so far down that it seems like a sciatica or lumbar radiculopathy. It goes down the leg all the way to the ankle or foot. SI joint fusions are typically preceded by an examination by a physician or a healthcare provider to be able to ascertain, does the patient have some degree of reproducible pain with five different types of tests? And those tests we will go through at a later point in time on a different video. However, that gives some degree of understanding, is this a potential source of pain and a treatment option from either traditional SI joint injections, possibly an improvement of the ligaments using prolotherapy and regenerative medicine techniques, or the consideration of radio frequency ablation to the nerves that supply the joint, or finally, the utilization of a fusion in order to be able to provide some degree of relief. There are both pluses and minuses to each of the aforementioned techniques. At the end of the day, an SI fusion increases stability that previously existed and somehow changed, whether it was due to trauma or due, due to ligamentous laxity of some sort. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that other individuals can be able to get this information as well as be able to be connected to other videos like this that may help them. If you find that treatments that potentially can help pain for you or someone that you care about is something that is of interest to you, please subscribe to our channel. It will give you value that we think will continue to be beneficial in knowing all your different options that exist.